on the evening of Friday, September 22nd. The 4-0 Lake Orion Dragons were at home for the third week in a row to host the 1-3 Stony Creek Cougars at Dragon Stadium. The Cougars began the game by lining up to kick off to the Dragons, but attempted an onside kick. The Dragons recovered the ball and began their first drive on their own 43-yard line. On first and 10, just outside of the 10, quarterback T.R. Hill is a shotgun. He hands off to Billy Roberson, who goes right and goes in for the touchdown. The Hoffman PAT is good, and the Dragons take a 7-0 lead with 8.24 left in the first. With under two minutes left in the first, the Dragons are on the Cougars 13 yard line. Hill is on her center. He hands off to junior Jackson Vasquez, who bursts through the line and goes the distance. The PAT was no good, and the Dragons are up 13 0 in the first. With just over nine minutes left in the second quarter, the Dragons are on the Cougars 40 yard line. Hill is in shotgun. He hands off to Roberson, who turns it outside and streaks down the sideline. A last second cut, and he's in the end zone for his second TD of the game. 40 yards. The Dragons go for two, and Dominic Novak's catch makes the score 21 0 by four. With the second quarter winding down, the Cougars face a second and eight in the red zone. Jaden McCarthy is in shotgun. He takes the snap, drops back, and connects with a wide open Andrew Napolitano, who races to the pylon for the Cougars' first TD of the game. The Quentin Ubaby extra point is good, and the score is 21 7, Lake Orion, as the first half of the end. Let's go to the third. The Dragons have a second and three inside the 20. Hill is in shotgun. He hands off to Roberson, who goes left and lowers his shoulder as he crosses the goal line. The PAT was good, and the Dragons take a 28 7 lead. Later, the Cougars are at midfield with 4.42 left in the third. On second and 10, Sam Fogler gets loose, and it looks like he's going to go the distance, but Trey Potmera makes the tackle at the six yard line. But on the next play, McCarthy keeps it and takes it in for the score. The point after was good, and the Cougars closed the gap to 14 points. With 3.22 left in the third, Lake Orion faces a third and 16 with Hill under center. Hill fakes the handoff and goes deep, but is picked off at the 50 by Jonah McKay. Going the other way, the Cougars have a second and goal at the seven. McCarthy takes the snap and finds Brex Shackelford for the touchdown. The PAT was good, and all of a sudden, the Cougars are within seven points of tying the game. Following the score, the Cougars line up for an onside kick. The ball takes a hop right into the waiting hands of senior Andrew Parker, who returns the kick 50 yards for the score. What a way to answer the Cougars' threat. The extra point was good, and the Dragons increased the lead to two TDs, 35-21. On the ensuing drive, the Cougars are on their own 30. The snap sails high over the head of McCarthy. Dragons ball. Joey Kabrinkit comes up with it. The defense celebrates the takeaway with a dunk on the sideline. On third and goal at the one, Roberson goes in untouched for his fourth TD of the game, and the Dragons are up 42-21 and in control. Facing fourth and six, time running out, McCarthy is hit as he throws. He's picked off by Andrew Parker and returns it all the way to the end zone for an incredible pick six. Let's give credit to Carson Negri for that wicked hit on McCarthy. PAT was good and the Dragons go up 49-21 with a slam dunk to boot. The Cougars did manage to put up one last touchdown on a 98-yard run by Sam Fogler with two minutes left in the game, but it was a little too little, a little too late. The final, Lake Orion 49, Stony Creek 28. Coach Chris Bell praised his team in the post-game interview. Andrew Parker, of course, made a great play there on an onside kick. And then the pick six. Um, it was good for us to be in this environment, to be honest with you. Another team had momentum. We were down. We weren't playing real well, and we had to respond. Uh, we responded quickly. Um, 
So proud of them that way. It's it's part of the learning process. The guy, you know, the guys we told told them in the huddle, don't ever apologize for winning the game. You won 49-28 yeah. against an OAA red opponent who's pretty darn good. Yeah. So feel good about it. I mean, that's the OAA red. Those are the way games go, and we just have to. We got to get better. But uh, yeah, I'm proud of the way the kids play. We had some great moments. We were dominant, and we had some moments where okay, we got to get better. The undefeated Dragons go back on the road to visit the three and two Rochester Adams Highlanders on Friday, September 29th. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports.